All right, it's time to answer questions. Now, Courtney, a video question for you first. Hey, everybody at the Halftime Show. Absolutely love your show, and uh, I've been watching for a long time. My question is Square versus PayPal. If you had to choose one, which one? Go Caps. That's right. Go Caps. Love the hat, too. All right, Court. Uh, Square and PayPal, you own both. <laughs> you own both. But if you had to choose just one, what would it be? I'm not. I'm splitting the baby, oh. Scott. Um, I think it's a situation where, okay, so short term it's Square, long term it's PayPal. There you go. Um, does that solve the problem there? It does. Um, but I mean, it wasn't candidly, that hard. Last year, it wasn't. But I do like them both because if you think about what last year did, which was transformative in the marketplace, what happened was we actually brought America into what, call it 74% of Chinese are using, which is their digital wallet. That is, trend is only going to continue. And although it's all sexy to talk about crypto and what PayPal's doing with crypto and what others are doing with, with, with crypto on those platforms, it's actually the potential for PayPal and Square to, to take pieces of the kind of traditional banking wallet. Imagine depositing your check into PayPal, right? We're already trading stocks on Cash App. So, you know, I think it's, it's a long term trend and there's a lot of room to run in these names. Okay. Josh Brown, video question for you. Hello, my name is Mitchell. I'm from Bamer Jown, Washington. I'm a huge fan of the show and admire all of you on the panel. My question is, with the housing market so hot currently, do you think it's a good time to buy into real estate companies like Redfin and Zillow who've been off their highs for a couple of months now? Thank you so much. Mitchell, thank you. Josh Brown, the answer. Very simply, I would skip Redfin. It's a very traditional broker just offering human services at a lower price point. Uh, boring business, not a big fan. Zillow is much more exciting, has bigger potential. So that's the one I would buy. I don't own either right now, uh, but Z is on my radar. Steve Weiss, multiple inquiries about GMVHY, which is a new buy, I believe, for you. Tell us. And Tain, and they are the, one of the largest online gaming and sports betting companies in the world. 20 countries. It's so much cheaper than DraftKings. This company actually makes money. It's cheaper okay. than Penn Gaming. All right. And plus, most of their business has been shut down in Europe. 